Happy New Year and welcome to 2024 and the planning journal that I have. It's just a quick calendar and a few little notes to help me have a great year or at least an intentional year where I can keep track of things and make sure that I'm focusing the right direction. So here is my yearly planner. I hope that you enjoy it. I chose a very generic kind of a theme. I just put hearts and stars because I like hearts and stars and I want to focus on love and stars seem like, you know, heading the right direction. This is the first yearly planner I've done in quite a long time. I used to do one every year and I really liked it. But the truth is my life is pretty crazy and hectic and I need a yearly planner so I don't miss birthdays and events and things that are coming up a month or two in advance. One thing I put on here is my mindful intentions and I decided to use these little banners. Again, keeping it pretty simple, keeping it pretty standard. Um, banners is something that I've had a really hard time drawing. I thought they looked really easy when I first started doing them and I thought they turned out to be pretty tricky, so this was a good opportunity for me to practice the skill of making banners, and I'm definitely starting to get better. Aside from the page where I have opened up to the 12 month spread, I have just a couple pages, and I wanted to put mindful intentions on one, so it's not exactly a goal page, it's more like a guidance page, like what am I thinking about to make sure I'm focusing on and the direction I'm heading, and the other one is quotable quotes because I love to put down quotes and they help me remember who I am and who I want to be. So here's the page that has all of the months. And again, I just use those blocky bubble letters for Q1 is quarter one, Q2, quarter two, Q3, Q4. So just for all the quarters. And every month just has a little box that has room for a few notes, not a lot. And I think that this is going to be a great place for me to put all of the things that are up and coming, the far out dates about my work and about different family events and friendship things that come up. It's going to be really nice to have a place to just write those things down. Now you can see the Crayola box. I just used it because I actually am working inside of my journal and my floppy outside pages are too floppy to write on without something underneath. So you can tell that's how thick my journal is. And I just outlined each one of the monthly boxes with a color, again, sticking with that pink and yellow and blue. I tend to like to just stick with a few colors on my journal pages and keep it really simple and that is simple. So here, the last thing that I have is the to-do. I was thinking like a bucket list. This is not like a daily errands kind of a page. It's more like I want to go to the beach. I want to go on vacation. I want to make sure I jump in mud puddles and that I walk in the rain, just things like that. Now I'm a little more ready for 2024. Maybe you are too. I hope you had fun and feel free to like and subscribe. See you next time.